Hi there Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for November 6th through November 12th. Now this is intended to be a love reading, we will see what comes up. This is for Taurus Sun and Rising only. If you want to know why I don't do the moon signs, you can watch my welcome video. Now this may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. So there's no way I could read for everybody. Um, and I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment, and I'm actually going to stop right now. I will zoom this in when I am done. Now, I want to remind you that the timing is fluid. This could have already happened recently, or it could be happening this week, or it could be happening next week. Whenever you watch the reading, it should apply, or it will apply in the very near future. The basis of your reading is the Ten of Wands. It tells me that many of you are carrying around some heavy load, some burden that you need to let go of. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in correctly before I go any further. Look at the fire energy there. Okay, so, as I was going, the basis of your reading is the Ten of Wands. There's something very heavy. Many of you have something heavy that needs to be let go, okay? Maybe you've already let it go. I'm not sure. I see a new excitement here. There's, there could be a new sexual partner for some of you um, because we have the lovers here too, a lot, right next to the Ace of Wands. I think there's a new growth. There could be a new partnership, something that there where there's a lot of chemistry, uh, magnetic attraction. I feel like, um, yeah, there's a lot of fire energy. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have... Capricorn, we have the sign of Cancer, we have Pisces and Scorpio, we have Taurus, which is probably you right here. I do see that some closure is needed, okay? So many, for many of you, you are contemplating closing a door or the door has been closed, okay? And you are just finally releasing the heavy weight, all right? Um, I feel like uh, it's a time of recuperation. Maybe something has happened that is, has come crashing down and now is a time of recuperation where you just feel like you need to be alone to get through this, whatever it is. Um, you may feel... Um, I'm just putting the cards together. You may feel like there's a... There's more. There's more to this, okay? There's more. You know, whatever has just happened, it crumbled down. It was meant to happen. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to take the time to uh, sleep this away or, you know, work this out. Whatever it is, you need, to, you need time to recuperate. I feel like many of you are working on mastering your emotions this week. I think something has just happened or is going to happen to that might have been a shock and caused you some depression, some despair. Maybe you've lost some sleep. You've been uh, overthinking a situation um, that has just ended. Okay, I think that it's time to let your guard down and it's time to let it go because it's too heavy. I feel like there's something more exciting in front of you. All you need to do is just let the door close and lock it. Lock the door. Okay. I see that many of you know what this is. I think a secret could have came out, something that you knew about. Okay, You knew this was happening. You knew what it was. It really wasn't a secret. Somebody wanted it to be a secret, but it wasn't a secret. It came out, and now you have to, you have to get over it. So I think this week is a period of recuperation. Okay, And it, it's closing a door. I think towards the end of the week, you're going to start to feel good again, okay? If you are single, an unexpected love could come into your life um, out of the blue. And this person is not who you expect. It's not whoever you're thinking. It's absolutely unexpected, okay? this Whatever this is, 
whoever this is, it's unexpected. They're not your usual type. You didn't see it coming, okay? And they could come into your life very quickly. Now, like I said, the time is fluid, and this may or may not resonate with everybody. But I see that something could happen. Somebody could enter your life very, very quickly, and it could bring you a lot of excitement, okay? So as the week starts out with something has crashed down or is about to crash down and you may need the time to recuperate, to heal from it, to just go in, go within, to to um, figure this all out, you know, to contemplate what happened and to work your way through it, okay? But I think that you're going to do that and um, it's going to be fine, I feel like then you're going to master your emotions you're going to move you're going to move on from it pretty quickly i think that you're going to come to the realization that it was a false foundation anyway okay and that you're just going to move on from it i think that you're just going to take the time that you need to heal and you're just going to walk away from it all and then your excitement and your beauty and your vibrancy is going to come right back because you refocused your energy and once you did that your vibration raised back up and that's when this new love comes in okay i do feel like there's going to be a strong attraction between you and another it even could be a soulmate relationship okay i just want you to be very careful we do have the seven of cups here this says be careful what you what you own because what you own owns you so i feel like many of you are still releasing something that's heavy so the longer you stay there the longer this new love this new um unexpected love will take to come in okay because it's all up to you so many of you have to make a choice you have to release something that's too heavy you have to let go you have to lock a door okay you do you do before this can come in and you need to follow your own guide you need to listen you need to listen to your intuition so if any of you are doubting your intuition stop right now the time is now to listen to your intuition in regards to love okay if something is saying telling you something in regards to your love relationship listen to it because it's the truth especially if it's false if you know that it's false if you know somebody's lying to you lying to you you are correct okay because I can tell that it is and you've been losing sleep because you know this is the truth but you've been ignoring it okay You have the Seven of Wands twice now. This tells me that you guys are fighting a battle with something that you're never going to win. There's no need to fight it. It's unnecessary drama. It's like an, a battle that nobody's going to win. It's just unnecessary drama. You have the card twice here and here, and that's what you need to let go of. Whatever this is, whatever drama is in your life that is that is so heavy that you need to let go of, the time is now to let go of it. It's This is a completion. It's the basis of your reading. It is time to let go of something that is weighing you down and blocking you. It's time to be, do the thing, to be direct, do what you need to do. If you need to tell somebody something do it okay you can't ignore it anymore you can't pretend that everything is okay something has been ignored and it's time to let it go all right there was a false foundation somewhere with the devil in the tower card there's a false foundation and it is time to be true it's time to do the right thing okay it's time to be honest be honest with the other person and be honest with yourself even if it hurts if it hurts you if it hurts them you know I don't want you to hurt somebody physically but even if it hurts it's the honesty is what counts okay I truly see that people that many of you have been ignoring the truth of a situation although you know that it's the truth and it's regard in regards to a relationship all right Many of you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Virgo, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I told you the other ones already. I do believe that for many of you, it's a time of 
releasing something that no longer serves you. I feel like you haven't been getting the the emotional support or you don't have the emotional connection that you were desiring. It is time to let it go. And once you do, something new and exciting will come in out of the blue. Okay? So for many of you, it could happen this week because you've already closed the door. You've already released the burden. And that's when this new unexpected love will come in. If you have not released the burden, even mentally released the burden, then it will not come in because you're not ready. But I see that many of you are longing for love. You're longing for that unconditional love. Okay? But right now, it's like you're up against the world because you you can't let go you're ignoring a situation all right and it must come crashing down if it hasn't already all right you need to let it you need to let it crash down go through your period of solitude your retreat your period of healing get through it and you'll get through it pretty quickly once you get through it you move on okay and once you move on i think that somebody new is going to come in all right, I see this new unexpected choice in love. All right, but many of you have to close the door first with these nines, okay? It's certainly time to move on for many of you. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to be direct. It's time for you to be honest. No more just watching and waiting. It's time to take action, okay? It is because you're staying stuck in a situation that's going nowhere, all right? So it's time to release it. It's time to release it. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, there's new love to be had. And hence the word new in capital letters. This isn't old love. This is new love to be had. Okay? But you have to do the right thing. You have to do the right thing. You have to look at things from another perspective. Yeah, it's hard to let go of something. It is. But what's in front of you? Once you let go, what's next? something more exciting, something where there, where there's room to grow, okay? Oh my goodness. Believe and trust. Actually, I'm going to put that like this and just, these cards are slippery. Anyway, um, and I'm going to zoom that in. This is a card from the Ar Archangel Michael deck. And I think this is exactly a perfect card for you. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence to let go of whatever this heavy weight is that I am carrying around. Please help me to release this weight that no longer serves me so that new unexpected love, true love can come in. Help me to release. So Taurus, this is what I have for you for the week of November 6th through November 12th. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.